Um, if you look down at the crystal at the bottom left of your screen, and I've circled it because it's 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 hard to see. I mean, admittedly, at first, even I was looking at it, I was like, what is that? Um, but right in within that face, if you look, you can see some raised triangles on the face of that crystal. So those are what we commonly refer to as raised record keepers, uh, raised record keepers. And those um those ones generally mean that there is uh, data or teaching or wisdom. There are light codes, okay, that are encoded in that information that help to lock you into or guide you into um, your own cellular memory, um, your own uh, DNA light code, um, you know, records in order to start doing work and healing at that level. So it's a crystal that's specifically encoded to um, help support you and guide you in doing that work. But I find that these raised record keepers um, are also crystals that bring us with great facility and ease to the luminous ones in the crystalline matrix to start doing that work with them multidimensionally in journey. And again, I'll be talking about them shortly. As I said, as we go into realms, as we're engaging with beings, um, on one level, it's like we're engaging with holograms. Um, and then we can also journey into the crystalline matrix and engage with and experience and interact with the holograms that crystals project. So it's like we're in this matrix of energy of waves and lights and vibration. And if we consider the crystal to be that 2D platform, just for the sake of illustrating the point, projecting that 3D, 5D, 5D plus hologram into the matrix so that we can experience and interact with it. And that's the luminous ones. That's the luminous ones. That's bringing us into the conversation about the luminous ones. And also just a quick reminder too, that all crystals, including the microscopic crystals in our bodies, connect and interface with each other through that crystalline matrix. All right. So we can communicate through one crystal to another, through that consciousness conduit, um, or channel the energy of any crystal. Gosh, I could really use a little more carnelian today, but I don't have it with me. You can draw that through with conscious intention and channel that into your system through the crystalline matrix. So the luminous ones are the luminous ones are holographic projections or recordings or programs okay 5d 5d plus holographs of great elders and ancient teachers who at some point at some point in time have walked the earth plane they can also be the holographic imprints that have been encoded into crystals in the earth from beings in other galaxies other higher dimensional realms, there's really no limit. There can be holographic imprints of your consciousness from previous lifetimes. And it's it's in the earth and in the earth realm and in the crystalline matrix, that's one of the places where we can engage um, with, you know, our, our past selves from previous lifetimes um, or even our ancestors and affect healing. This is one of the places we can do that. And the, the the crystals refer to that and the stones also, the stone elders refer to that as, you know, encountering and engaging with the paths that we've walked before. And so they can act as guides for us, as teachers for us in terms of what's, you know, in our DNA codes, in our soul plans, what it is that we need to heal in this lifetime, create in this lifetime, et cetera, et cetera. 
Um, but they can also act almost like as librarians and retrieving information for us as well, or, or guiding us into records, visions, memories, codes. So working with them is incredibly rich. And just even as a practical example of how, um, you know, they have helped me in multiple ways, but just even as a practical example, you know, when I was getting all these different pieces of the puzzle and parts of this work and this system and different things that I'm being called to teach. And, you know, it, it, it was massively overwhelming, you know, and my brain's trying to make sense of all of this. And I, I finally, I just journeyed into the crystalline matrix down to the luminous ones. And oftentimes I pass through like a tetrahedron, you know, as I'm, I'm doing this or experiencing them. Um, and you know, it was like, boom, 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 boom. They gave me this, this pyramid sort of structure, kind of a, a reverse funnel, I guess, in, in the world of business and marketing, whatever. But, 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 you know, and they just showed me how, you know, each level of the work and how to walk people through each level of the work and how to organize uh, the, the programs and everything else. It was, it was phenomenal and it was quick. And it was very clear and it was very easy. So the more that we work with them, the more that we interface with them, um, the more that they can serve us, you know, on, on multiple, multiple ways.